Have you ever wondered why there's dew on the grass some mornings, but not others? Ever wondered why fog or clouds seem to appear out of thin air? Absolute humidity, relative humidity, and dew point are three important weather-related terms that really help us understand this phenomenon. Hang around with me for a few minutes and this is all going to start making so much sense. Now, what is humidity? Well, actually, it's just the amount of liquid water that's evaporated into the air. But you see, when these water molecules evaporate, they spread way out. They spread out so far that you can't see them, and, and that's why water vapor is invisible. But even though you can't see the humidity, oftentimes you can sense it. Your hair may get frizzy, and your body feels sticky. You may be sweating, but the sweat just stays on your body. Why? Because so much water is already evaporated into the air. So how does one go about measuring the humidity? Well, you use a tool called a hygrometer, but there's two different ways you can represent the results. The first is absolute humidity, and the second, relative humidity. Let's dive in. Absolute humidity is just the total amount of water that's in the air. For instance, I could say there's 20 grams of water in that air. But that raises the question, in how much air? I made a box that is one meter by one meter by one meter, since the cubic meter is a common unit for the volume of air. Now it makes a lot more sense when I say there's 20 grams of water per cubic meter of air. You see, that's what absolute humidity is. It's just the amount of water evaporated into a certain volume of air in a particular place. Now, relative humidity is a very different way of expressing how much humidity is in the air. And interestingly, relative humidity does not give us an exact amount of water that's in the air at all. Instead, relative humidity simply lets us know how close the air is to reaching the maximum amount of water vapor that will stay evaporated at that temperature. Sound a little confusing? Let's break this down with an example to make it more clear. Let's imagine that these blue dots represent the invisible water vapor that's in the air. At 30 degrees Celsius, or 86 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 grams of water is the maximum amount that will evaporate into one cubic meter of air. If only half of that water had actually evaporated into the air, that's 15 grams, we would say that the relative humidity was 50%. If only a quarter of that water had evaporated in the air, that's 7.5 grams, we would say that the relative humidity was 25%. But if all 30 grams of water had evaporated into the air, we would say that the relative humidity was 100%. If any more water evaporated into the air, an equal amount would have to condense back into visible water. Because at 30 degrees Celsius, only 30 grams of water will stay in the vapor or gaseous state. And here's where it really starts to get interesting, because if you change the temperature of a sample of air, you will change the amount of water vapor that will stay evaporated in that air. The reason for this is because at higher temperatures, the particles, the molecules of a substance have more kinetic energy. And since water vapor is a more energetic state of matter than liquid water, at higher temperatures, more water will stay in the gas state, the water vapor state. And at lower temperatures, less water will remain in that evaporated gaseous state. So for example, on our 30 degrees Celsius day, a maximum of 30 grams of water will stay evaporated in the air, while on a 17 degrees Celsius day, a maximum of only 15 grams will stay evaporated. So 100% humidity on the warmer day actually means there's twice as much water in the air as 100% humidity on the cooler day. Think about that for a minute. Now you may be starting to wonder why in the world don't we just keep it simple and always use absolute humidity? Then we'd always know how much water was actually in the air. 
Well, knowing the amount of water that's actually in the air is probably less important to most people than knowing how it's going to feel and knowing how close the air is to reaching 100% humidity. You see, 100% humidity is the point at which the weather will start to change in noticeable ways because condensation is about to occur. And this leads right into our final term, dew point. <laughs> dew point is a temperature at which a particular sample of air reaches 100% humidity, also known as the saturation point. Let's go back again to that 30 degrees Celsius day when there was 50% humidity with 15 grams of water in the air. At that point, the air sample was not at its dew point. More water could still evaporate into the sample at that temperature. But now, let's imagine that overnight the temperature started to drop. Once the temperature hit 17 degrees Celsius, the air would be at the saturation point, since 15 grams of water is all that will stay in the vapor state at this temperature. If the temperature dropped any more, some of the water would condense and we would wake up to fog or to dew. So 17 degrees Celsius would be the dew point for this particular sample of air with 15 grams of water in the vapor state. Now this is a perfect time to note that this process regularly happens in another way. Through the process of convection, warmer, less dense air naturally rises up in the atmosphere. And the higher one goes in the atmosphere, the cooler the temperature is. So as warm, moist air rises, it naturally starts to cool down and eventually it reaches the dew point temperature when the maximum possible amount of water is in vapor form in the air. And as the temperature continues to fall, visible liquid water seems to appear out of thin air. We see this as clouds and possibly even rain. So let's go ahead and wrap this up with a quick review. Three terms today. The first one, absolute humidity. Simply the total amount of water that's evaporated into a sample of air. Two, relative humidity. A percentage value, letting us know how close a sample of air is to reaching that 100% saturated point. And finally, the dew point. That's a temperature, people. A temperature at which a particular sample of air is fully saturated, add any more water vapor or cool it down and condensation is guaranteed to occur. It's starting to look a little threatening here. I'd better go ahead and get inside. Have a great day and as always, stay curious my friends.